All right, well, you're relying on my footage. I don't know if that's safe. But <laughs> go for it. Okay, well, this is, uh, this is Pixel. It was our, uh, it was our first Luna Vanda vehicle. She's, she's about three years old now. She's actually already done a level one mission, but unfortunately not at the, uh, at the X Prize. She's out of the our level two machine, uh, which may get to fly tomorrow, but uh, for sure on, uh, on Saturday. Uh, weighs in at about 600 pounds, um, dry, and then when we fuel her up, she weighs just about a ton and a quarter. When she lifts off, she generates about 3,000 pounds of thrust from, uh, from liftoff, and it's designed to, uh, to lift off, hover at about 50 meters, and then translate across 100 meters and precision land on a pad that's only 10 meters diameter. Uh, and it has to stay in the air for three minutes, which, if that wasn't hard enough, we've then got to uh, refuel it. And in less than two and a half hours, we've got to get it back to the, uh, to the other pad. So it's, uh, it's a pretty phenomenal task. There's, there's no other teams qualified to, uh, to do this event yet. Uh, and for the last two years, we've been the only team that's qualified for the, uh, for the Lunar Land Challenge period. Electronics box on top. You see a little GPS antenna up there. Uh, that's where the brains of the, the machine is. Uh, it's just a little simple PC-104 stack in there. We've also got our uh, IMU, the inertial unit, and the GPS is, is in there, and all the power packs. And we use that to drive the valves and actuators down here, which help the thing stay, uh, stay stable. And you can see the, the heart of the beast there, which is the, the LE13000 uh, engine. Runs on liquid oxygen and ethanol. Liquid oxygen go in these two tanks that are insulated because it's a cryogen, and the ethanol goes in the uh, in the other two tanks. We keep some insulation on there just for uh, the radiation coming off the engine gets gets pretty warm. And what else is around this? This crossover pipe here connects the two uh, the two LOX tanks. That's our fill port for the LOX. And this little crossover pipe here connects the ethanol tanks. That's the fill port for the. Uh, for the ethanol, and then these are our connections. There's one on each tank where we pressurize it with helium up to about 425 psi, and that's what pushes the propellants into the engine when we uh, open the right valves and uh, light the candle.